I'm so done with sourdough and bread. I love shit. <laughs> Going back to cake. <laughs> I haven't tried. I tried it yet. And it tastes a bit funny. And ugh. Uh, so I put it back into the oven for a couple of minutes. And uh, I hope it's going to turn out better. It's too sour. Um, so my shy new sourdough turned longer than I thought so I hope it's now a little bit better when it also cools down and ugh, I'm telling you guys the next two days I don't want to see any bread no sourdoughs nothing gonna throw it in the bin <laughs> no I don't no I don't um, but yeah probably really going back to cakes the next two days Day six is over and um, it's clearly not my day. I just deleted excellently my video, but I just did. So I have to start all over again. Burned my hand on the oven. The bread yeah, didn't turn out so well like I wanted to. So what can I say? Sourdough starter at home wasn't quite a pleasure take quite a bit of time and um, the problem is as a newbie like I definitely um, there's way too much information out there and nobody really knows what to do I have no clue because my bread really turned out way too sour for that fact that my sourdough was so young and uh, I even was brave enough yesterday to put my finger into the glass and um, to try this and it doesn't work and it doesn't taste so bad. Uh, this morning as I started with the spices, with the pre-dough, the sourdough um, which was resting for 14 hours, maybe that was too long but this is what the recipe said. I really don't know what I did wrong. There must be something. If somebody is watching the video who has an answer, please comment and let me know. Really, really appreciate. Um, I just wanted um, to tell you guys my experience because of the fact that there's so many information out there, um, which are sometimes really confusing. For example, um, how do you store your starter? You see, I have now my baby because my mommy dough is in the fridge and it can stay there. Don't want to see it <laughs> for the next week at least. In the initial days, I always keep saying um, I keep the lid open. This is what I read many times in the original recipes uh, that they need air and uh, that they can breathe that the bacteria can breathe, a lot of shit. I 
I kept it open. Only thing happened was that the dough dried out during the day. So it developed like ugly brownish skin, which I had to peel them off all the time. No, no, it's not that really what you want to feed in a starter. With a baby, I just didn't do that. Grass like this, it's like this, and I never kept it completely closed. Just put it underneath. Uh, like this slightly on the on the top for some reason this baby which contains the same flower like a mummy doe from the same from the first day it started to bubble much nicer it still doesn't rise like you see in this fancy videos and, and photos that the dough is here and bubbly bubbly I don't have this maybe it's the right flower I have no clue so what I'm going to do now with this baby tomorrow it goes into the fridge. Next thing, keep it warm, bring it warm. Bring it. One is saying you keep it warm all the time, 30 degrees, one says only 26 degrees. No, what is right now? Others saying you keep it warm the first day, second day cooler, third day Coolish. Who's right? I don't know. So I think you have to figure it out for yourself. Because the circumstances that you have in your strengths, the right flower that you can buy, you have to figure it out. So the fact that my bread turned out not so sour, I can't follow this recipe that I can find. I have to, next time, I can't use those amounts, which you saw in the footage, at all. So I'm using my sourdough, which turns out so sour, I can use maximum half the amount. So instead of 400 for 1.2 kilograms of bread, I can't use 400 grams of sourdough. Maybe minimum or maximum 200 grams. Maybe this is even too much gonna see so the next days I'm probably not gonna do any bread can't even stand to smell any milk and um, I won't give up I'm not I'm not a person for giving up but um, I think uh, the next attempt is gonna be just trying to make a rye bread with my spices because that smells delish and uh, just as I said uh, for now and then I put this baby into the fridge and going to see what, uh, what happens then the next week. And um, also a thing that I wanted to, to maybe ask uh, if somebody is watching it who can maybe help me. One is saying feed once a day, the others are saying feed twice a day. My experience was it wasn't enough to feed just once a day. <clears throat> I started like this, um, feeding in the evening. Mm -mm. Turned out, I don't know, that the dough isn't happy. Yes, you hear right. We spent like six days watching this dough so closely. You develop like a relationship with this thing. Family wasn't really happy because I spent so many, I wouldn't say hours, but um, you spent quite a lot of time to look at this. And um, you developed a feeling what it wants. And uh, so it feels really like in the mornings I started to stir it because I mean it's close. And uh, like I said initially, they need air, oxygen to breathe, to stay alive. So even though I keep it close in the mornings, it's the first thing what I do, take the lid off and give it a light stir. Then I'm putting um, nice warm water in. So it's also, it's also a thing, hey? One is saying water first, then flour. The other, thing, uh, the other page is saying first flour, then water. Oh, what the heck? So anyhow, um, I developed 
open it in the morning, give it a nice stir, and then you can see the bug in me comes like, <gasps> I can breathe again, nice. Um, putting some water in, and then I can already see how much flour it needs to eat for some strange reason. It's like my daughter, I just want to have a sandwich or I need full process. I don't know if I'm just going nuts. Um, <laughs> looking six days at the sourdough uh, maybe makes my brain a bit mush. Maybe. Uh, anyhow, so result, too, many, too much information, I think, too much. Everyone has the answers. Um, and I found out for me, clearly it's not. It's not the case. Um, I'm gonna try the next weeks. Uh, I will give it another shot. I will definitely do it. I will definitely do it. You can come here. Um, but um, I try to figure it out my way, like I do with the cakes. Hello, my babe. And um, <laughs> like I do with my cakes, because that's actually how it works for me. Babe. Just help, babe. And now, then tomorrow her baking a cake for, it's actually not a chocolate cake, it's a cheesecake. But you don't like cheesecake. No, I baked the bread today, which was not good. It's and tomorrow? Sour. I think tomorrow the cake. This is super sour, let me show them. Yeah, I'll show them already. It's my baby sourdough. Yeah, so maybe we can bake a nice cake together again which is much more fun and much more grateful. So guys, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, sorry that it didn't turn out quite as expected. Um, but like I said, I mean, I'm not a baker. I'm also just subtle and... Um, I'm just a mom. I am just a mom. My friend. And I'm my mom's baby. You are my baby, that's right. So thank you for sticking with me and um, we're going to see each other soon, but uh, probably just something sweet. <laughs>